Yes, my people, good day. Part second to the valve cleaning video, never number two. We have to now put the intake manifold back on. Brand new intake manifold. You see the difference between the appearance of the manifold and then the rest of the engine. There is always some kind of wire trying to get caught under there and pinched and whatever the case. So you have to make sure say, you clear them out the way. You have to kind of ease it up and shift out the way. Ease it up and shift it out the way. Yo, you can't move too fast working on these vehicles because before you know it, something pinch and you have to back up and start all over again. So I think I finally have it situated where it needs to be. So now I'm going to get the bolts. I use a little anti seize. It's my insurance. You don't have to do it that way. I'm my insurance, and I do it like that. You never know when something goes tighten up on you and break off and now extend the whole install procedure. You don't have to deal with that. I just kind of run them down a little bit preliminarily by hand and then a little bit more with me. Handy dandy Milwaukee electric ratchet. Yeah, I think they work good. Now, with all these moving pieces, we have to kind of match where things go and then try to not move too fast ahead because sometimes you put some things on and you have to take them back off again because there's a process of assembly and disassembly. I don't work on these things every day, so I am not going to be good like no Audi master tech who just work on this thing every day, just that. You understand? Work on every little thing. So I'm putting on the throttle body in the back there now and now this is the fuel lines to the fuel reel, the high, high pressure fuel pump and then now these are the lines that connect both of them and then send fuel pressure down to the, the, the injector, I just say high pressure fuel pump, just take it from me, mm -hmm. tighten that up, we just kind of get it into place, as I said, when I'm working, work gingerly, I put them in place, kind of have them there, while I'm doing some other stuff, I think I have it right, so I kind of tighten up these fuel lines, you really don't want to get a fuel line loose, because this pressure kind of high, and you don't want that kind of mist of fuel, because I think the light fast, another headache with these vehicle is that, all these wiring harnesses, and clips and hard plastic breather hose and lines, man. I'm telling you, it does stress out your, 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 your head. Boy, it create ball spot in your head. So now I think I have everything situated, right? So I am just kind of snugging down the intake manifold a little bit more, torquing all of the bolts them there. Yeah, yeah, that's step my word feet. We're good to go. No worry yourself about that. Now I'm just using my um 12 point or spline drive because the brackets that hold the, the that you can hook to to pick the engine up is spline drive so notice in the video i am always taking a break and looking taking a break and looking now what happened here i have tightened up the lines and everything and this wiring harness should be below the lines not above and i couldn't let that go so i have to just ease off back the lines Put the wiring harness under the lines and tuck it back in. It just, uh, you, you just can't send it out like that. It look, you know, my worst thing is for somebody to say, oh man, who worked on this? <laughs> and I mean that. So I just loosen the lines back up, put the wiring harness back under and call it a day. Now working on the front, trying to tighten up all of the little bolts and brackets and stuff that are there because there are quite a few and a normal thing. And then always looking, always looking, make sure not forget nothing. Here is the air intake hose. That hose now goes to the air breather box. It is rigid. It is short. There are multiple lines that are hooked to it. It, it, it just take a little while. So putting in the air box now, there's a lower portion there. And then there's a breather hose on the bottom where are the lower part where you have to click on to. And then there's also an electrical connection. So it's not just putting the box in there. You have to make sure it's uh, everything connect up because you know what? When you start up, you get check engine light here, you know, hissing sounds or anything like that. So I got it. New air filter put on and we're good to go. Now we're putting on the mass airflow meter on the top of the air box. Put that back in. Always remember, say, you need to plug all that stuff back in. I have used my extra long screwdriver, Phillips, for screwing some of the bolts them from the top. Because Audi, boy, let me tell you, some manufacturers make air filters easy to get to. But Audi, boy, them, them take a new course in how can we make the air filter the hardest or more difficult to install. I mean, I tell you, them do a good job at it. Working on these cars, you definitely have to have super sockets. You definitely have definitely have to have torx bits so just know that and then after we've done that now proof of the pudding in the taste okay it runs so that's good that's always a good sign i run smooth little